The limb girdle muscular dystrophies were first described in the 1950s by Walton N. Natris, who distinguished them from the three most common muscular dystrophies, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, myotonic muscular dystrophy, and facio scapulo humeral muscular dystrophy. In the past, the nomenclature for the limb girdle muscular dystrophies included the following. The letters LGMD followed by the number one for dominantly inherited forms, and LGMD followed by the number two for recessively inherited forms. Then there was a letter delineating the order in which the chromosomal locus was discovered. For example, the first LGMD discovered was called LGMD2A, a calpinopathy, and the second was LGMD2B, a dysphalinopathy. Both are recessively inherited. The problem with this nomenclature is that at some point around 2018, we ran out of letters. So LGMD2Z was identified, and then we discovered yet another LGMD. Therefore, a new nomenclature was proposed and is now taking hold. The new nomenclature includes the letters LGMD followed by an R for recessive or D for dominant. Then a number corresponding to the order in which the gene was discovered is added, and finally, the affected protein for that disorder is referenced. As an example, LGMD2A, the previous designation for calpinopathy, is now LGMDR1, calpain 3 related. There are some disorders that previously had no LGMD designation, such as the dominant form of Bethlehem myopathy. This is now designated as LGMDD5 collagen 6 related. So once again, the nomenclature includes LGMD followed by a letter R for recessive or D for dominant, a number reflecting the order in which the gene was discovered and the name of the affected protein. The new nomenclature system permits future LGMD discoveries to be added and will have implications for patients and families, clinicians, and researchers.